Good morning folks. From floods to strong winds, these are just a few select shots from a climate change slideshow. The link will be below. Had a lot of questions about a quad polar sun, the solar pole flip supposed to occur next month, a year ahead of solar max. We'll just have to wait and see folks, it is what it is. Many have asked what that was a few days ago that could bring down Netanyahu and his government. This article explains it pretty well. We also saw a lot of questions about the lack of dark matter in our system. Seems like a score for the electric universe and for the arguments for the superior power of magnetism. Usually the earthquakes in this region take the form of minor magnitude swarms near Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, but some stronger seismicity on the eastern subduction zone took the rains yesterday. There were also some large quakes in Peru and Bolivia. We also had a breakout of hemorrhagic fever. There is no treatment for that. We just had a 4.4 off Vancouver Island. We had a few big quakes in Iran and Iraq yesterday, but the frequency appears to be picking up a bit. You may remember we had some tiny coronal mass ejections on the way. This might look boring, but at 1600 UTC, we got hit with the first little one. The heart magnetometers show disturbances beginning around that same time. The BZ tipped south below the dotted line around 1600. And the GOES magnetometer took a dive right around, oh, I don't know, 1600. About three hours later, you can see the red above the blue. That's solar plasma penetrating the magnetic shield into the ionosphere and upper atmosphere. You can see the particle bombardment pick up last night and continue through, easing up this morning. Something I missed until just this morning, what I saw as an inactive coronal region is actually a coronal hole and is facing us today, putting out a strong solar wind stream. The Earth footprint jumped back to this spot here. None of the active regions are dangerous right now, but they are all showing signs of shifting around, so we'll have to keep watch. Hopefully you are aware that we are in the quake watch right now. Uh, hopefully starting off with a bang was as far as it's going to go and we don't see any more. That's the news, folks. Be safe.